A lot of our small towns have great old buildings in disrepair, and it takes dedicated volunteers to rescue and restore these community treasures. Such an organization is the Sleepy Eye Preservation Group, a nonprofit organization that's been restoring Sleepy Eye's 1902 CNW Railroad Depot, a building on the National Register since 1984. In 1990, the Sleepy Eye Area Historical Society was given the interior space rent-free to house, organize, and provide a well-maintained and much-visited museum. Since then, the group has worked with Southwest CERT to fund the labor costs associated with a range of building efficiency improvements, including removing all old storm windows and installing more efficient versions. The project's successes have included reduced energy consumption, lowered energy bills, and greater long-term sustainability for both the depot and the Sleepy Eye Preservation Group. They were very um, adamant about preserving this building and then of course establishing a museum because Sleepy Eye does have a lot of history and mostly goes back to our Native Americans and the uh, flour mill. The Preservation um, Committee and um, the, the Historical Society had put together a grant and then they were able to receive some storm windows for energy efficiency. The renovation here has been almost complete. Uh, I mean, the building started the roof, the windows, uh, which were a very important part. The floors, the doors, the, all the woodwork in here. It's just uh, amazing what the craftspeople have done with this building. They sent letters out to past people who have lived here and former school. Uh, people at school here, and uh, they really, we, uh, they got thousands of dollars. And then, of course, that too, with a lot of volunteer labor, really uh, put this. Uh, now, this was this was just black in here, and uh, they had they hired somebody from Fairfax. I think clean it was just black because of coal. And uh, in this room, they painted the ceiling, but in the other room back of me, uh, they were able to refinish it. And all the four floors are original. And all the woodwork is original, so it's, it's really a wonderful building. But there are 59 storm windows that were put in. At that time, there wasn't any storm windows in the north part at all, and uh, the south part, they were worn out, you know, so. Well, we did an audit, uh, and we estimated a, a pretty significant savings. I think now the numbers show, according to the computer, about 30% savings in energy. I think uh, people got a little pride in this building. Uh, when a visitor comes or something, they, they like to brag about the building, something you should go and see. I think that uh, we try to attract tourists to the building. I think that this uh, project on the windows is an example of how efficient you can make an older building without a huge investment, uh, and, and yet as time goes along we'll see what we can do to make it more energy efficient and also preserve the building and its contents. The contents are, are very important to the community's history. It proves that you can take an old building, preserve it, refurbish it, uh, tuck it, um, and come up with something magnificent.